Elsa is charging north after intensifying to a Category 1 hurricane and hammering Florida's west coast. Heavy rain and wind gusts up to 75 miles an hour. I wouldn't, wouldn't want to live through a bigger hurricane, that's for sure. It was downgraded to a tropical storm earlier today after making landfall for the third time. A lot of rain, a lot of wind, um, shut us down for work. Tonight, a likely tornado in Jacksonville, leaving at least one person dead and a trail of destruction. In Gainesville, emergency crews are evacuating people from their homes, and flash flooding remains a major threat for states in Elsa's path. The Coast Guard rescued 15 people and is searching for nine others, missing after a boat capsized off the coast of Key West. Utility crews now trying to restore power to 26,000 customers in the state. I put up a PVC board, we sandbagged. And this motel owner in Sunset Beach, grateful it wasn't needed. Right, Not this time. Are you breathing a sigh of relief today? Absolutely. Yeah, no doubt about it. A lot of work before, a lot of work after to put everything back together, but better than having to deal with storm surge. But across the eastern seaboard, millions are still bracing for wind, rain, and the threat of tornadoes through the end of the week. Katie Beck, NBC News. Tampa. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.